Lunar Knights here. The Advanced Wars reboot is delayed for the time being, but with all of the work that the dev team has already put into it, I'm sure we will see it released somewhere down the line. With any luck, they're taking this extra time to polish the game more, and to that end, I thought I'd finally make a video for my hopes on the remaster. Some of the original hopes I had have already been officially confirmed, such as a custom map editor. But I haven't been digging around for leaks, so it's possible some of my hopes on this list have already been confirmed. Without further ado, here's my top 5 hopes for the reboot camp release. Number 5. Good Voice Acting This is a relatively minor wish in the scheme of things, but with it confirmed that the game will have voice acting for dialogue, I can't help but feel a little nervous. Voice acting in general can be a great way to help bring a game to life, but at the same time, if the voice acting is poor or the voices don't fit with how you envisioned a character sounding, it can really break immersion and ruin suspense. Oh no, 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 this is so wrong. We've all been victims of games with bad acting before, and I don't want one of my favorite series to become another offender on the pile. Number 4. Robust Multiplayer Support it's already confirmed there will be online multiplayer, but in my experience, Switch Online doesn't have near the reliability I expect to receive with a paid service. This is a Nintendo issue rather than any one game, but given how long a battle can last, I just hope that however they set up multiplayer, the matches are managed in a way that takes Switch Online's frequent connection issues into account. Something like Advanced Wars by Web's turn system, where players log in to complete their turns and then log out to wait for their opponent would probably be ideal since you won't need to stay constantly connected to a match and will be less likely to deal with the frustration of an idle opponent or getting disconnected after you're deep into a battle. Beyond this, I'd like to see different types of matchmaking to vary the experience. Some of the necessities in my mind are a ranked mode for competitive players, a casual mode with big teams or wacky maps, private matches, and some sort of team's matchmaking so that you can partner up with another player for 2v2 battles. Special events like tournaments, community maps, or challenges would be a nice addition as well. Number 3. Classic Mode When I first saw the new toy box style for the remaster, I had very mixed feelings about it. The chibi look really wasn't what I expected to see for a war strategy game, even given how lighthearted Advanced Wars can be at times. And it's such a contrast to the charming pixel style the originals had. To that end, I'd love to see the ability to switch between modern and classic mode at will, so that players can choose which experience they'd like to have. We've seen other games do this, with the Master Chief Collection in particular coming to mind. And while it's highly unlikely, I know, I don't feel it's too unreasonable to ask for some degree of it. I especially worry the current style will undermine Black Hole Rising which had some serious and frankly pretty dark moments to it. I'll never forget the mission in Blue Moon, where Olaf is excited to visit his hometown for the first time in years, only for it to come into view and be utterly devastated because Lash decided to turn the area into a playground for testing her new weapons. The sight naturally hits Olaf hard, and we as players can really feel the weight of this moment in the story. The chibi style has grown on me from multiple trailers that I'm confident I will get used to it as I play, but some of its animations will remain pretty jarring if they stay as they currently are. The mech troopers in particular are just... ugh. These are supposed to be professional soldiers, and they're wiggling their weapons around like that? What gets me the most, though, is actually this board game border around the map. It kills the atmosphere for me more than anything else, and I just don't like how it looks. I'd personally prefer we either don't see it, and the environment just expands without tiles, or we can't see beyond the map at all, like in the original. A classic mode would solve all of these complaints and satisfy both old and new players by giving them options. At the very least, please let us remove the map border for something more natural. Number 2. Music True to the Originals this is probably weirdly high on my list compared to everyone else, but one of my absolute favorite parts of the Advanced Wars series has always been the music. The faction themes are perfect for setting the mood of their army and what they're facing. The power themes make you feel charged up, and the CO themes masterfully reflect the unique personalities of their owners. 
I'm hard pressed to think of many other games that manage to do this so well, and I never get tired of listening to the soundtrack. Just like in the games, it also makes for amazing background music when working on projects. I believe it's been confirmed that we will have remastered themes in the game, which is to be expected. I'm excited to hear new remixes, but I deeply hope that he will still capture the essence of the originals and pay homage in a pleasant way. This seems to be hit or miss on remasters, but with any luck, Reboot Camp's sound team will still find the mark. Number 1. In-Depth Map Editing We already know that the remaster will have custom map editing again and I'd like to see the team flush this out to make it less of a side feature and instead tune it to where players can let loose their imagination and wild ways to have fun. Think of what Forge mode is for Halo, but here instead. It would be great to see all of the items from the campaigns brought over, such as the Black Cannons, so that players could create their own campaigns and challenge maps. Other features I want to see here are more map slots since 3 was nothing for an avid map creator, the ability to set map sizes and presets when loading a map to save time, a mirror placement mode for creating fair mirror maps, and the ability to set custom objectives like destroying a black cannon or surviving so many days against an onslaught. Depending on how developed the AI is in this game, we could even have the option to set AI difficulty or playstyles here too. Perhaps it goes without saying, but I consider online map sharing a must-have option for all of this. If these features are implemented, we as players will be able to count on a steady stream of constant new content from the fandom itself. And that does it for my top hopes for the reboot games. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and let me know down in the comments what your biggest hopes are for the remaster.